So I've not been here for a few days now and I'm really impressed with what you've done. So do you want to explain what you've done? Well, first of all, thank you, Kirsty. From the point of where we last filmed um, or taken some images, we were in the process of replanting timbers back into the inner structure of the walls, which the previous owner had taken away to do some repair work to the outer hull. Um, so as you can see, they're backing. It's gonna be a rustic kind of a finish anyway, barn type, painted white, um, but there's still work to, to be done to um, refinish um, the board replacement, so on and so forth. And then of course, next we've moved on to starting to replace some of the flooring. So as you can yeah. see, we're probably halfway through this area that we're going to refloor. And we've actually used, because of the damp environment, uh, rather than using modern fresh pine, we felt it, well, I at least felt it would be a good idea to consider using pressure treated timber. And, and actually what we did decide to do in the end is we've, we're using decking, which is smooth on one side. Go and grab a piece from over there. Is there a small is, piece? Okay. Which is... We just okay, loaded all I'll the scrap up, didn't here. we? Which is ribbed on one side, as most traditional decking is. Uh-huh. But yeah, on this particular type of decking, as I requested for when I bought, at a smooth side finish. Very nice. So what we've done is laid the rough side down and the smooth side up. Um, because it's pressure treated, we feel it's obviously going to serve us better based upon the environment it is. At some point, the floor will be finished in, in a, a standard way. We're going to colour stain it. Um, Are we for sure? Oh, sure. And we're going to colour stain it and then see a three coat polyurethane ceiling. Okay, and we are having a bit of a discussion, aren't we, about those lovely, lovely oak beams above your head, <laughs> because I want to keep them dark and you want to paint them. I, I, the, the walls are going to be painted, it's quite a dark environment, it's fairly oppressive, the, the ceilings are fairly low and um, to, to pick it up and to give the ceilings a lift. As you can see, they're really almost black oak. Um, and I, I guess really my thought around that is to just paint the whole thing white. I mean, they're never gonna look really nice as um, oak timbers. Perhaps if it were a, a, a taller ceiling, but as it's such a low ceiling, I think the decision will be made in this area to paint everything white. However, Kirsty will get her way in the next area, which uh, will follow after this, which will be our bedroom. Those beams will actually retain a wood colour. That was the compromise, wasn't <laughs> that, it? That was the that compromise. That was the okay, maybe, maybe. But I also feel that once Kirsty sees how lovely these beams will look in this room will look totally whited out she will probably probably agree that the best way forward may well be to paint the bedroom white and i think <laughs> <laughs> that once you've painted these white and i say uh -uh, we're definitely going to keep the bedroom ones dark i think you're going to look at the dark ones and think oh god i wish i'd kept those well, but I you think, don't think so, do you? I really don't think so, no. But we've made a compromise. We have made a compromise. So, for the next part of the project, or the next two or three days for the project, <coughs> excuse me, will be to carry through, finish the flooring. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Cough it up. In terms of just um, fitting it. Next part after the flooring will be, as you can see, this wall is um, Rather, a dividing wall yeah. from this 
this area into the engine compartment. Uh -huh. So it's very unsightly. Um, so this will be a, a wall which will be studded and will be insulated and then will be covered with wood and painted. Cool. It already feels quite a lot different in here. It, well, considering we've only spent uh, a short period of time, we seem to have got on quite well. Yeah. And then thinking about the next week or so, we have a spiral staircase. Mm-hmm. I didn't, we, now I thought we weren't going to mention the spiral staircase. Well. Just in case it doesn't fit. We bought a, a spiral staircase from an old cottage in Cornwall. And uh, back at home I've spent some time bare stripping it back yes. to the original metal. And it's pa been painted in a black hammerite. Yeah. And hopefully where this wooden staircase is. Which is rather delightful. But not very practical. Not very practical, based upon Grace, our, our lovely dog Grace. She there? Get down. Nope. She's... Gracie. Gracie. Puppy. I think she's gone um, to bed. I think so too. Oh, ah, she comes. Hello. Hello, Grace. So hello, as you can see, Grace cannot get down here. She doesn't like it down here at the moment, anyway. So hopefully in uh, the next two or three weeks, we will be attempting to fit this really difficult task of uh, ins installation for the spiral staircase. Which may or may not work. Which may or may not work and we will be very disappointed if we can't make it work. Because then we'll have to have a plan B and we haven't got one yet, have we? No. And it can't be that, unfortunately. So for now, I think that's enough. And um, I'll keep you posted, or we will keep you posted, um, of our progress over the um, coming events. Yes, and well done to you and Cockney John, because Cockney John, you didn't mention Cockney John, <laughs> did you? Okay, no. I, ha I have had a, a very old friend who's a, a carpenter working alongside of me, and together we've been doing the woodwork. Um, there are a couple of images or whatever of John but unfortunately he's fairly reluctant to be filmed yes which is just is a shame it really is a shame because he's such a character interesting anyway. character yeah. <laughs> Saviour of the day. And we have really good water pressure now. But I'm not going to show you that because there's loads of washing <laughs> to do. <laughs> and it looks a bit like the slobs. And we're not. Yay, we've got water now. Want to drink? Poor oh, Gracie. We did have the last bit of water, but. Want a drink? Very nice. Now we just have to go and see if there's any water taps turned on out there. <laughs> Hopefully, we've got enough water in the tank there. No more kicking the pump, pump, which is all good. No more having to keep the shower running in between us both getting in, I so that the pump doesn't go off and then we have to go and kick it again. I can have a hot shower tonight. It's mm, nice. Um, so, what was the pump like down there that you took out? Um, old and tired. So we've got better water pressure. And a cup of tea. And a cup. 
which is always nice in the morning. To start my day off with. Yes. Okay. And beer to finish it off with later. Hmm. And what's your plan for the day? Work. And what is that? Um, just finished tidying up the install of the new water pump. Um, reinstall for now the diesel heater uh -huh. because I disconnected it to lay the floor. Which looks amazing, by the way. Brilliant, thank you. And off to the super stores for more materials. Lovely. Well, I better go and feed Grace because she's giving me the evil eye. lighter in yeah and it heats the diesel play uh -huh. and then when it's at reached a certain temperature you can turn the diesel on uh -huh. and it should light okay it was a lucky uh, it was a lucky purchase that one wasn't it because the man that was selling it wasn't sure if it worked <laughs> well, he was a very nice man but um yeah it, it an absolute be, bargain yeah so we were very lucky because these are quite expensive to buy new. And I think we paid a couple of hundred for it. Yeah. Was it? Am I right about that? And it would have been probably about... Pounds, that is. Yeah. About two and a half thousand. Pounds. Would it have been really? Yeah. New. Yeah. We did have to order some special parts from Germany for it. Um, to make it run, didn't we? We did. But it's all good. And it's quite efficient. Blue flame. Does that go completely blue? Hopefully. They're very pretty. Well. <laughs> mm. Did you have a nice day? I did. Well, it was a day and an evening, really. Or more like a day and an afternoon yeah. because what time did we finish last night uh, nine o'clock i thought it was oh yeah it was nine wasn't it because we went and got an indian that yeah. late. so it, yesterday and today we've been cleaning the engine compartment bilges 
We've been rolling we, around in oil, haven't we, really? We have, which uh, they were full of old oil. It's and minging. Debris and so on and so forth. Scraping, S sucking. sucking. We used a um, wet and vac hoover, which um, sucked all the old grease and oil. Probably how many litres would you say that we sucked? I, I, well. But did you enjoy yourself? I did, it was great. And I did it too. And you did it too, Kirsty. Did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, I really enjoyed it, to a point. Which point was that? Uh, well, to the point where I dropped um, a 25 litre container of bilge water stroke oil on my foot. Oh dear. <laughs> that wasn't fun. No. So you won't do that again? Well, I try not to, but these things sometimes happen and you just can't avoid them. Uh, well, hopefully, hopefully you will be able to avoid them. I hope so. Okay. But sometimes you just can't. So that's the end of our day today. And tomorrow it's by materials day ready to start on tuesday with cockney john building continuation uh, of the downstairs the continuation of the downstairs a stud wall um hopefully my favorite thing that i was hoping to happen for this boat and i hope it can happen is the cast iron spiral staircase which i bought several months ago and i've restored and hopefully we can make that work. Let's hope so. It might just be a winding stair rather than a spiral staircase. And it might be that it doesn't work at all, and it, in which case I should be very disappointed. Because we haven't got a plan B. We don't have a plan B. We'll have to get like a, a hoist and like, what are they called? Those pulley things? Are they, they're called pulleys, aren't they? I don't know. A pulley and hoist. A dumb waiter. No, like just to lower Grace down, to attach it to her harness and lower her down. Yeah. I don't think she'd like that very much, but she might just have to. And we didn't bring Sydney this weekend, did we? No. Because it was only a few days. He's too and, noisy. and he's too noisy. No, he's not. He's lovely. And I'm not going to be helping you this week because I've got to be working at home. Um... So you get off lightly this week? No, not really. I think I'd rather be here than what I'm doing, but there you go. So maybe you'll be here next weekend? I will be here next weekend because Great. Ellie's coming home from Germany and she wants to come to the boat anyway. As Great. I yes. So Ellie's our daughter. I just said that, but never oh, mind. Did you? <laughs> did you? Yes, okay. Senility. Okay, I'm tired, so we're just going to say farewell to grace well we're not but gracie oh good girl she's been very good although she did steal some toast didn't she she did mm. bye bye bye, -bye.